do you think is the best condition to play and record mm. Taylor guitars, and uh, why do you think so? Um, well, to me, nothing replaces a microphone. Ah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Why do you think so? Uh, because because of exactly some of the things we were talking about. The guitar is actually moving air. Yeah. That bloom thing. The bloom thing. Yeah. The, the the sound the w sound waves are moving, mm. right? Um. It the sound change. waves move off a of piano fingerboard and off of a cello and mm. off of a violin and off of all that stuff. And, and to me, uh, I think that um, to get the most natural sound, it comes from a microphone. Mm. But unfortunately, it's very hard to, uh, to use a microphone in a lot of situations. Mm. If you're playing live um, in, a, in a noisy bar or a church or um, at a concert or whatever, um, you need some sort of way to kind of contain the microphone from feeding back, uh, you know, or else picking up everything else around it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So that's why, as uh, that's why the pickup has evolved in acoustic guitars, yeah. mm -hmm. even all the way back in the '70s when Ovation did it. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's uh, out of necessity. On the ES2, there are three body sensors. I'm sorry, three little um, three little pickups here that are actually piezo crystals, mm -hmm. and they touch the back of the saddle. Mm -hmm. instead of being underneath the bottom most most of the times when you when you use a piezo type design uh the pickup sits below yeah, the saddle yes, yes. Yeah. It, it works on pressure mm -hmm. right yeah. so when you string a guitar up to pitch mm -hmm. there's about 25 pounds i don't know what it is in kilograms 25 mm -hmm. pounds of uh -huh. pressure that push down uh -huh. mm -hmm. on the saddle yeah and that's 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 how a piezo pickup works mm -hmm. with pressure yeah mm -hmm. But with this design, it's barely touching the back of the saddle. Mm. So it actually, the, the three pickups can move mm. oh. as the saddle vibrates. Mm. And there's very little pressure on them. Plenty of loom. Oh. Yeah, mean, it, yeah. it actually does move a little yeah. bit in there. And so for that reason, the sound is not, a, is not it's a little bit more dynamic. Mm. It's a little more open sounding. Mm. It doesn't clip as easy. You know, like mm. sometimes when you really Play, play when you play hard, yeah, sometimes yeah. on a, an acoustic guitar with a pickup, mm -hmm. it just it kind of gets louder and louder, and it just then it mm -hmm. just sort of mm -hmm. clips, right? It mm -hmm. stops. This one has more dynamic range for sure, mm -hmm. uh, I think, than the ES2. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a different system. Um, we always I always recommend to people that when they st when they use the S that they they s they set everything flat. Everything flat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn that amp on there, Johnny. When you so this is the Rosewood um, Grand um, Grand Pacific. 717입니다. Yeah. 717. Yeah. When you use ES uh, pickups, there's a, it's very simple. There's a bass, a treble, and a volume control. And there's a, a what's called detent position. Yeah. And that's flat. Mm. So this is active EQ, right? And active volume. So when you start with this system, you set everything flat. Mm -hmm. Lots of times I go to, go to a show or I go see somebody play live and everything's on 10. Mm. you know and it, it, there's nowhere to go from there there's nowhere to adjust mm. except down right mm. so what i always suggest to people is you you get the volume that you want from your amplifier in your environment like if you're playing with your band or you're playing with a your mm. a duo yeah. or, or a whatever gig you're doing mm. you get it so you sound you're happy with the sound and then you turn the amp up to get to the right spot and then you can you can change from there but if everything everything is on 10 uh you got nowhere to go okay. and it's it, and, and it's pegging the input okay mm -hmm. it's really hitting the input really yes. hard on the amplifier yeah. and that's 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 what you want on electric guitar mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> usually to get gain mm -hmm. right to get yes. but not on acoustic you want some headroom yeah mm -hmm. so well, it's yeah. very simple bass control mm -hmm. treble So, 
Um, very simple to use, um, and the uh, expression system two and the okay. pick and the preamp is all a design that we've yeah we've created yeah okay. mm. and we actually use the the ES2 in all the guitars that we make now yeah. except the nylon yeah it doesn't this does doesn't work with ES the nylon string ESM mm. yeah that's yeah. right yeah. ESN that's right uh, you said that uh, the important thing is that to make uh, good amplifier how to use the condensed mm. microphone for Taylor mm. guitars and okay. uh, what's the best tip for miking or ah. something okay. Well, I think mm -hmm. I think that when you when you mic a guitar, acoustic guitar, yeah. um, it really depends on what you're going for. Ah, yeah. Uh, and and really that that's yeah, and that that's has everything to do with the the microphone that you choose mm. or the place you put it. Mm. Um, you, it normally on most guitars you 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 stay away from direct sound hole mm -hmm. because you get proximity effect and you get a you get all that air yeah, mm. Yeah. Mm. that's moving, no. and that that tends to distort mm. the microphone or give you a false mm. sound. Um, a lot of times um, when I'm recording at home, I I'll aim at the 12th fret. Mm -hmm. 12 fret. You know, so like like, like this. Y yeah, like that exactly. Um, this way or this way or yeah. yeah. Um, it depends on what you want because like it, I think that that spot you'd get a little bit more finger mm. finger oh. string noise mm. like like that. Yeah, yeah so yeah. either that or or the other way. Mm. Um, it really it really is um, something that I think is very elusive in many ways because mm -hmm. it, you're always you know w what sounds good to me might not sound good to you. Mm, yeah. And mm, and no. and if if you're trying to make a just a really beautiful recording of a solo guitar mm -hmm. that's different than like putting an electric or acoustic guitar in a pop song mm. yeah it has because if you put that if you make a if you are a recording um yesterday we did some videos we had some really good finger style players who, who played mm -hmm. and um i could hear some of that stuff being recorded like with a pair of microphones for stereo, uh -huh. for stereo. stereo. Mm -hmm. yeah and sp and panned wide and mm. sound you know it sound really big and spacious, but that same sound would not work in a pop tune mm. mm -hmm. to my ear. Yeah, okay. Because it would be too big. Yeah, mm. nah. so it's, yes. it's a huge the, the panning range. Yeah. yeah, and also if there's a drummer and a bass player and a piano yes. player and an acoustic guitar, yeah. another mm -hmm. electric guitar and mm -hmm. singer and a percussionist. Mm -hmm. um, that guitar part has to just fit mm. a no, certain absolutely. space. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and and sometimes I think when you solo up. The actual sound of the acoustic by itself in a pop tune, it would sound horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Because it wouldn't have any, mm. there'd be no girth, there'd be no strength, but okay. in the mix, mm -hmm. it's really appropriate. Mm -hmm. and, th and that's one of the things that I think is hard for a mm -hmm. lot. It's, it's, it's a good lesson for a lot of musicians. Okay. They have to learn that at some mm. point, you know? Yeah. Mm. And, and a lot of people who play live, you know, you, you, if you're playing like a solo act live or something like that, you, you, you want your monitor to sound like a PA system. Mm. Does it ever? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, yeah, so yeah. Because if it did, it would be feeding back. And yes. Right? So your monitor really has to sound kind of small mm. and, and, and sound good. The PA system can take care of the, the big part of the sound. But yeah. I think these are all lessons that people just have to learn by playing gigs. Okay. Um, mm. And... I, um, recording, I, I love recording. I do it a lot. Um, I like a combination of a ribbon and a condenser, mm. a ribbon microphone. Yeah, 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 a ribbon microphone, yeah. And, and if you put them right next to one another so that they're not, there's no phase problems, right? Mm. Then you, then you, you, you have the choice of, of mm. which one do you want? Which one sounds better in the mix? Mm. Mm. Uh, at the end, you don't have to, you don't have to commit mm. right away. Uh, just, just mix the sound and not make, to make, yeah, two different tracks. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. one, like one condenser to track one, oh, yeah. and the ribbon to track two, yeah. and then you have a really nice balance. The rhythm, the mm. rhythm, ribbon uh -huh. um, sound is is much different. It's less hi-fi. Yeah, not to make a stereo image, just just to, to blend the sound. And then if you maybe. want, <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. You <laughs> but can you're right. You're yeah. right. Normally, normally to to blend, um, and and I think that yeah, in in a context like if you're if you're trying to put the acoustic guitar. In the mix with the band, no. it would probably be mono. Yeah, okay. And, yeah. But you still have two sources. Yeah, okay. So you're right. You could put both of them at like 15 degrees, okay, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you'd be like, with the ribbon, mm. condenser, ribbon, mm. this this way or mm. this way? Which one? <laughs> yeah. You know, and because they have really mm. different characteristics, mm. and sometimes you don't know okay. what you really want until you hear it with the whole yeah. band. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah.
And here is new question because you're talking about some popping noise of the sound hall. Mm. And what do you think? What do you think of uh, like towards the sound hall and <laughs> just, just put the popping pop filter in <laughs> the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of? I think if that if that works, fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, you really? never tried it. I haven't tried it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, make, it, it makes okay, sense. We're gonna, we're we're gonna yeah. do that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that. It, ma- it makes yeah. sense to me though. Yeah. yeah. For, for I, experience. Yeah. yeah just uh, the same yeah. thing, like that. A pop filter. Yeah. 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 Get rid I mean, of pop noise and just tour the sound oh, yeah, directly. Yeah. Okay. I know. It's okay. Yeah. Then, uh, if you do that, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How it works. Okay. okay. Let, let me know. Okay. <laughs> send me a send me a file. Okay. <laughs> send me an A B. Okay. And ES2 pickup is a great acoustic pickup, I think. Mm. And but recently ES2 pickup has been equipped on from 100 line mm-hmm. and and every detailer line. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's good thing for users, but uh, relatively not good for over 780, uh, 800, and uh-huh. 900. It's relatively not good thing for that high end guitars because uh, that the low low line mm-hmm. the models have all the those ES2 pickups yeah so uh, well it's it's a good thing for the people who yeah, buy the low line yeah yeah uh, <laughs> yeah um we're I yeah okay we're always talking about some ES3 things or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what is more than more than <laughs> yeah ES2 plus yeah ES2 yeah, plus, ES2 or plus ES3. like this <laughs> so just um I, I need a spoiler. I, at, at this at this point um there's no new new pickup in this development that I know mm. of really no mm. but i, I w- <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't. I wouldn't really no necessarily know always either because uh, there's there's a there's a whole building of people, uh, engineers, yeah, w- who are working on ideas that some of them will see, some of them will never happen. Mm. But there are always if somebody has an idea, mm. they're 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 encouraged mm. to mm. follow it. Mm. I mean that's part of part of Bob's philosophy yeah, again, okay. and that's where a lot of this development came from. That's where T5 came uh, from, and uh, a lot of uh, things. But there's no. I I don't know of an ES3 coming out. Yeah, mm. Okay. I, if I did, I would tell you, but I I really don't. Okay. You think that there is no necessity to have some mm. more than no. I don't. I don't think that. I think that if 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 somebody at the company designs a new pickup that mm. we think is better, we'll mm. change. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And but uh, but I, right now I don't know that that's okay. happening. Uh-uh. And if it's gonna be uh, if it's gonna be developed some new pickup, uh, uh, what's what would be the name of that? <laughs> 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 I think um, we, we'll name it after you. Yeah. Uh, yes, plus or yes, uh, three. three. Okay. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to yeah, have it. Okay. Your signature model. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. What was the propo- proposed to develop Grand Pacific Lion mm. uh, instead of just uh, just the, the normal dreadnought uh, shape and uh, what will be the main features of it and the merits of this it yeah. r- relates to your very first question again it's it's, a c- it's something that we're always trying to change yeah we're always trying to make something better mm. um, and 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 now um, with Andy's design for for Grand Pacific for mm. GP every shape in our line is a unique tailor shape mm. unique tailor shape yeah mm. Because because in the past you know the the dreadnought is it, we're not really known as a dreadnought company yeah. in in yeah. the past we're known as a GA company mm, yeah at NGC and so I think that that um, the sound that you get from GP was, was something that Andy definitely wanted to mm. make available to mm. within the Taylor line yeah and and I don't know if you've had the, abil- the ability to A B them yet but like if you if you take your eight fourteen and you played it next to the seven seventeen, mm. it's it, you would you would be very di- you would be very surprising because it's really different sounding, mm. and it maybe it maybe it's not necessarily what you want. Maybe your eight fourteen is you love your eight fourteen, yeah, and, yeah, and that's fine, but it just gives the, the musician another voice, mm. and and I think that the sound that the GP makes was inspired by records that Andy listened to when he was a kid, mm, yeah. you know, and um and he just wanted to do something that. Um, was different, mm. and he has the he has the the green light to do that. He has the mm. go from Bob to just go ahead, man, <laughs> build it, <laughs> build, go for it. This is this good for success. Yeah, right? you know he's <laughs> he. I'll tell you what the he w- one of the things that they've done that they've done they've set up with Andy, which is really cool. They allow him to work from home on Fridays. Mm. Oh, work 
working at home. He for, worked from home. Oh, and no. he has a complete wood shop mm. at home. Mm. He, ha- mm. <laughs> he has a building at home, which, which is beautiful, and it has all the tools that he needs to build guitars. Oh, that's so, good company. So he can, mm. he can concentrate. Bob knows the importance of... Uh, Andy needs to learn business, but he he wants Bob wants his company to be run by a guitar player, guitar mm. builder. Sorry, yeah, uh, guitar mm. builder. Yeah, not a businessman. Yeah, not a banker. Uh huh. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> a good point. Yeah. So um, so so Andy has been free to to design things, um, and I think that in the future you'll see all kinds of cool stuff from him. You'll see ukuleles and you'll see electric guitars, mm. and you'll see mandolins and because mm. he, he's built all that stuff already mm, in no, his career mm, yeah. arch tops mm. I mean he knows how to make mm. I, I, almost everything yeah you know, so mm. so the GP the Grand Pacific is his newest design it's uh, what we call a round shoulder mm. uh, dreadnought yeah and again it sound it has a sound that's a little bit more seasoned um, a little bit you know mm, a little older sounding, I think. It's not as not as shiny, not as bright as, as some of the other guitars we make. Mm-hmm. And we've got three of them here today. This is the this is the Sapelle Sitka Spruce one. Mm. So it has it has all the features of V class where it has really nice sustains. <laughs> This guitar is made out of the same exact tone woods as uh, a 314 CE, mm. and the 314 CE is one of our most popular guitars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you put this guitar next to a 314 CE, it would mm. sound really different. Different, mm. okay. Yeah, it's it's just tail-like, but it, mm. uh, I've never heard of this kind of sound. I, I yeah. agree. I, it's, it still retains um, a lot of our sound mm. with the sound that people have been accustomed to, but um, but it has a really a different a different sound. Um, and I've I've done some recording mm. actually with both of these guitars recently, and no. it, they record mm. really nicely. Mm. I mean, you just put a microphone, and actually, mm. that's, that's a good point because this goes back to your other question. These guitars are designed not to have that. Oh, oh. Really? yeah, not p- popping noise. No, yeah. you, we don't need that. <laughs> 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 well, it's it's actually part of something he talks about. He talks about the syllables like pop, top, mop, and shop. Mm. Pop, yeah. top, mop, and shop. Yeah. Each one of those syllables, no. there's less air. No. And and th- t- traditionally with dreadnoughts, you can't do this because it would mm. be too much. Pop, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right. But my experience with this guitar mm. is that you can put it. I can't hear this microphone. I'm, I'm guessing, but. hands okay. um but um it sounds good uh, sound okay okay cool um so this is the uh, builder's edition grand pacific and mm-hmm. this one this is what this is why it's cool to have a guy who's a guitar builder run a company okay mm, yeah because <coughs> i don't know if you noticed this i didn't show you this before but the edges on this guitar are rolled off mm. feel how that edge is, is rolled mm-hmm. it's not 90 degrees yes mm. and the edge of the fingerboard is rolled yeah and builders edition guitars have a s- what they call a silent satin finish, mm-hmm. so it it doesn't make a whole lot of noise. Mm. So that when you put it in front of a microphone, yeah. or you put you plug the ES2 mm. in, it won't have a lot of body noise. Mm-hmm. It has a different bridge, mm. right? And mm. so these are special features of builders edition guitars, and this is like something that Andy. Um, it's the it's the cool thing about having a designer who really is a great. He's a great player mm-hmm. too. I don't know if you ever heard him play, but okay. Here, check it out. Let's listen, let's listen, listen to you a little bit here. I am not to show Pretty balanced for a dreadnought, right? Yes. Yeah, right. Well, that's
Yeah. So, tr- so traditionally, like some of the things that are really that people love about dreadnoughts mm. are really problematic when you go to record them. Mm. You know, yeah. some of the big boom that you yeah. get out of the low mm. E string yeah. feels good on your chest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, right. yeah, it feels right. good right. on your chest, and it feels good in the room. But the minute you put this in front of it, then you got to put your pop filter. Yeah. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The current <laughs> prospect is the guitar that uh, doesn't need any pop filter. I, I tell you. <laughs> That's yeah. That's how yeah. we'll start marketing it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, but but it's it's actually true. I've I've recorded with this thing a few times, and and I've played lots of uh, like la- demonstrations, and I can put a mic like right in the sound hole. Yeah. Mm. We're, we're really gonna do this this experiment. I, I would like yeah, to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please. please okay. Tell me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, you have uh, three, five, seven yeah. in your uh, Grand Pacific that's line. That's right. Uh, yeah. Right. And. Uh, You don't have any plan to make four or six? Or no, no, we will. Yeah. We oh, will. Yeah. Um, ah. But but part of part of what we do is when we we launch something, we don't want to build so many guitars and flood the market. Okay. I mean, ah. We we want to, we want we want to make sure that dealers are, are successful selling mm. the guitars. There's not too many mm. in the market, and and again, we're we're not known as a dreadnought mm. company. Mm. Yeah. So mm. um so when we launch a new GA. Mm. The launch plan is probably different than launching mm. like a, a GP or something like and that. And which number is the next one? I would yeah, guess probably of, yeah. um, four. A four. 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 Uh, okay. Yeah. Four. A four, or or maybe a six. Oh. Yeah. 여러분들 이제 사 시리즈가 나올 겁니다. 이건. 이건 이제 오피셜 스포일러로 이제 받아. 스포잖아. 오피셜 스포로 받아도 될것 같아. 저희가 다른 뭐 ES 뭐 쓰리나 이런 뭐 여러 가지 스포들을 다 물어봤지만 뭐이뭐 학원 단가는 맞아. 우리는 늘 이제 앞으로 뭐 발전하려고 하기 때문에 뭐 있긴 있지만 지금 없다 하셨지만 어쨌든 포는 저희가 확답을 받을 수 있습니다. 나올 거다. 사는 여러분들이 이제 믿고 기다리셔도 될것 같아요. 네. 아. 자 그러면은 이제 우리가 마무리를 해야 될 시간일 것 같은데 you say anything to the subscribers mm. and, uh, yeah. um, I hope you you enjoyed watching today and um, um, playing music has uh, always been really important in my life and I feel fortunate to to be have a job where um, I still get to p- connect with people who feel the same way <laughs> um, all around the world you know and um, I think the music has allowed me to do that so I hope that everybody out there follows your musical dream too. Oh, mm-hmm. so touching. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's a great pleasure to have you here. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. So thank you. Look forward to your experiment. Okay. <laughs> 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 definitely do that. <laughs> 자 오늘 우리 14년 차 아시아 총괄 담당 익스포트 세일즈 매니저 계속 얘기하고 있는데 네. 앤디 런드를 모시고 진짜 테일러에 대한 그 궁금증을 해결하면서 또 좋은 말씀 듣는 너무 음. 귀한 시간을 가져봤고요 그리고 앞으로의 또 테일러의 뭐 브이브레이싱부터 그랜드 퍼시픽까지 기대할 것들이 점점 더 음. 많아지고 있고 그리고 뭐 이제 ES3는 제 이름으로 이제 픽업을 <웃음> 해주신다고 했으니까 그것도 굉장히 기대하고 있을 것이고 네. 그래서 앞으로의 그런 어그 테일러 행복 더더욱 기대되는 오늘 그런 리뷰였고 그런 어, 데몬스트레이션이었다 저는 뭐 이렇게 말씀을 드리고 네네. 싶습니다 자 오늘 앤디런드와 함께한 리뷰는 여기서 마치겠고요 오늘 또 저희 피해갈 수 없는 어떤 게스트가 오더라도 피해갈 그렇죠, 수 없는 누구나 다 해야 되는 네, 저희 마지막 인사로 오늘 이 시간 마무리하도록 하겠습니다 네, 여러분 유튜브 구독과 좋아요는 저에게 큰 힘이 됩니다 어쿠스틱 타임스